Breaking explosion rocks Lagos as 33 kV power line collapses. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A petroleum pipeline has exploded in a Saleodo Lasso area of Lagos State. This comes following the collapse of some 330 line high tension poles at power line bus stop along Lasso Isheri Road in Lagos. Wow. Legations, especially those looking living around Lasso area, Lasso Isheri Road, please, 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 um, you people should take it easy. I mean, this one is, ah, oh my goodness, in the heat of the festive moment and this happens. Oh my goodness, I, I hope, I hope there were no casualties. I hope there were no casualties. Ah, oh my goodness. Whenever I see things like this, whenever things that... You know, unforeseen things happen and things that could really hurt and harm people. The next thing on my mind is how will these people take it? Because already we are gnashing our teeth under this administration. Yes. And I've said it before. My eyes, my eyes have removed all the water it is supposed to remove because of issues concerning this particular administration. And of course, negligence of other people. I don't talk and say I don't want to cry again. Please. Ha. Let's find out. I just hopefully there are no casualties. Let's see it in the news in detail. Men of NP, NNPC security, firefighters and NSCDC are already at the scene to salvage the situation. According to Ibrahim Farinloye, the Southwest Coordinator of National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, the electric cable collapse led to electric sparks all over the area and sparks got to the spewed content of PMS around the area, which led to the pipeline, got on fire and subsequent explosion. Speaking further, he said, the pipeline corridor has been known to have spillage often due to activities of vandal stress on the pipeline. Fire explosion does not pose any threat to human and public lives. Director Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, Mrs. Adesaya Margaret, who confirmed the incident as of 8.30 a.m. said, We are aware and on top of a situation at Barua Pipeline Fire Explosion. Wow. Just when we are thinking that, okay, we can round up the year with, with um, you know, news, bad news coming on a daily basis, but, oh, my goodness. They did not tell us if there were casualties. Or they did not tell us if casualties were involved or people not we that we are looking forward to it but you know just for closure sincerely they should if you're staying around there please it is um it is um it advice you stay you stay safe please just advise you stay safe and about those who vandalize this thing is it that these people prefer to die huh god prefer that people die to their stealing every now and then why are those places not safeguarded against vandalism? Or is it that even people there, they enjoy the way this will come and vandalize it? Because I me, mean, I feel even the, the, the vandalism also has a part to play. Vandalism also has a, a part to play. Yes. Huh. That's when we think, uh, we, think uh, we are going to survive the rest of the year without anything like this. And then, this happened. Everything in Nigeria is breaking down. Oh, sincerely. That one is what I cannot deny. Everything in Nigeria is breaking down. Hope this will not call to into the blackout for some communities, communities this Christmas. It might. It might. Talking about blackouts. Are we not experiencing blackout, blackout already in this nation? Everything is blacking out. Everything. Everything. Thank God you did not claim any life. I thank God too. Thank God too. I thank God. Sincerely. It is it is um it is a good news that there were no casualties because none was reported here. Hopefully there are no casualties and hopefully, you know, people's um businesses it it, it the pipeline the road was split and houses caught fire and all those things. Sincerely, no, it is this one is a miracle. People living there should go and they really, really be grateful to God. Hmm. 
because we have heard of these things happening and people lives were lost um life were lost um people houses means of livelihood just like that just like that was raised down so we 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 are grateful that it did not happen and those living there sincerely they should go and um, they should go and thank the lord vandalism and failed maintenance culture how can you explain this collapse of a pipe? Sincerely, that's what I'm saying. Those who are in charge of keeping it, um, maintaining it, and those who are vandalizing. I'm even asking, is there that the vandalizing being done cannot be checkmated, cannot be stopped? Is it it? Are they saying they must vandalize it as far as there's a pipeline there? People doing this should ensure that they're putting people's life in danger for crying out loud. Ha! Huh? People doing this should know that people's life are going to be in danger. Sincere, like, don't even understand, though. You are vandalizing petrol, PMS. The nerve that these people have. The nerve. Anything can happen at any time. Anything. Ha. Huh. This is where. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, we are just thankful that, you know, Explosion Rocks Lagos, that this explosion did not claim life, did not claim... Property, we did not hear of any of that being said. Hopefully, this will be the last news, you know. This will really be the last news of such explosion, please. God should keep everyone safe and cause everyone to, to celebrate this festive period with joy. In their hearts, rather than any news that is going to bring tears to people's eyes. Sincerely, we don't want to know what fire can do, especially when it comes to all this type of explosion, PMS involved, gas involved. You don't want to be, you don't want to be in the know. You don't want to find out. So hopefully, we they they said they are there and they are going to rectify the situation, and of course, they should then rectify it as such. And of course, you know. And uh, help, you know, help ourselves back. That is just it. That is it. Hopefully, this is um, what we call, this is what we call, uh, this is what we call. Hopefully, this, is, this one will not occur again. And I hope that whatever causes this explosion is dealt with and so that people... So that this will not happen again. We don't know what will happen if this happens again, if it occurs again. This should be like a warning. Um, this